10 years after she survived Katrina, Billie Jean finally has a chance at a forever home. Hey, Billie Jean, when she was found, a little, little puppy. Oh my goodness! The potential adopters are hoping that she will be a good companion for their Katrina dog. Since their dog has a lot of anxiety, I recommended that they just, you know, leave the AC on in the car and let him just relax. Hi. Hi, hey. Tia. Hi. I'm Jamie. Hi. I'm so Jesse. very nice to meet you. Jesse. Jesse, hi. My name is Jamie Gutierrez, and I'm here with my husband, Jesse, and we hope to adopt a Katrina dog from Villalobos. So, um, your dog, what was his name again? His name Denver. is Denver. Denver, okay. He's very, very, very timid. We currently have a Katrina pit bull that we adopted in 2009, and we just didn't think he would be able to do a meet and greet with anybody in New Orleans. There are too many people, too much activity. Tia was really good about finding a place where he would be a little more comfortable. I know he came from Hurricane Katrina. Did they tell you what the situation is? Where did they find him? He was nine months old when they rescued him. They never took him to adoption fairs. He wasn't actually at their rescue facility. He was staying in a vet's office because he was so nervous. Oh, you just can't underestimate how the experience of living through something like Katrina can change a dog. He weighs 52 pounds now, but when we got him, he weighed 32 pounds. Oh my God. It was a lot to get him to eat. It was a lot to get him to walk. He just required a lot of individual attention. But now he wags his tail, he picks his ears up. My son-in-law and daughter have two pit bulls that he gets along great with, but he still doesn't ever go up to anybody other than me and Jesse. That happens a lot with fearful dogs. He'll look to other dogs for comfort and support. When we have play dates with other dogs, he acts like a dog and it's amazing. And I would really like for him to be able to do that all the time. He needs to be with other dogs. That's right. So I know you got your heart set on Billie Jean and we've, that, that dog, we've, we've shown her, we've tried to adopt her out. It's like she's one of those dogs that just keeps trying and trying and trying and never Tia, quite makes it. She's, she's like Denver. Like when I saw Denver, it was like he was my dog. But we started talking about adopting an older Katrina dog. And when we were looking at the Villalobos website, we saw Billie Jean. I knew as soon as I saw her that she belonged at my house. I'm from Louisiana, I spent my whole life here. I want a New Orleans dog, mm -hmm. I want to bring it home, I want to let it sleep on my sofa mm -hmm. and eat dog biscuits mm -hmm. until yep. it yeah. doesn't need to eat dog yeah. biscuits anymore. Yeah. It's not worth putting Denver through the stress of even meeting Billie Jean until we see how Jamie and Jesse are gonna do with her first. Let me get her out and right. uh, you know we'll uh, have a little one-on-one -on -one with her. I'm so excited. After all these years, this might be Billie Jean's chance at getting a home. Come on, sweet girl. Come on, great face. Come on. Billie Jean is an old lady now, and yeah, she moves a little bit slower. Hey. <laughs> She's high. <laughs> but her mind and her heart, I mean, like a one-year-old dog. She's so sweet. And yeah, she likes everybody. She's beautiful. She's got the sweetest face. Billie Jean. Yes, and it's daddy's dog. That's right. She came up to me and just leaned up against me, and she was great. So even though she's an older dog, she still likes to run around and play, you and know? And that's good. Denver needs somebody to get in trouble with. Yeah. Billie Jean's off to a really good start, so I think we're going to try bringing Denver out now. Come on. Got a doggy print for Come you. On. Come here, yeah. come look what I got. There you go, buddy. I got him. Denver is a dog that is very traumatized, very nervous. So I'm not really expecting to see sparks fly when he meets Billy Jean. Okay. Keep That's him back here. So but I do need to at least see some sort of like body language where they're at least comfortable. Come here, come let's go sit down, me and you. Come here. We're just gonna have to take it slow with him and just see what kind of feedback we get. Hi, you wanna tell her hello? She'll come over here. We can come over here. Yeah. And he's probably gonna make his way back to the car. Yeah, come see. Come on, sweet boy. Come see mama. Come on. Part of the reason I thought Billie Jean would be a good fit is that she has a real good feeling that comes with her that makes other dogs comfortable. Come here. Come here. But so far, it doesn't really seem to be clicking with Denver. Why don't we just walk around the back over here? Come on. I decided to walk them around together just to create a slow introduction, make them more relaxed. Come on. Come on. 
But now I'm starting to wonder if Denver is actually ready for this at all. Good job. His tail is relaxed. Yeah. Good boy. That's a good boy. Look at you. You don't even know these people. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> he was really calm, surprisingly. Now, I think this is going to have to be like a stage two thing where we have to come to your house. Right. I need to see him in his, in his true form, and that's at your house. Right. Where he is a little braver. Dogs normally will act different on their you know, home turf. So we won't know for sure if this is going to work until we head out to Jamie and Jesse's house, where hopefully, you know, Denver will be more relaxed. Say hello. Oh, hi. Hi, Dee. Hi. How are you? Hi. You cannot even begin to imagine how excited we are. Billie Jean, we saw her, and it was like, that's the piece that's missing out of our family. But I want to leave Billie Jean in the car. And, and just come uh, check out the facilities. In, come check everything out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Before we actually bring Billie Jean out, I want to do the yard check and just check out the surroundings to see where these two dogs will spend a lot of their time. Do I like the fence. We never do anything halfway to, uh, you know. <laughs> the yard was absolutely breathtaking, everything. The fence, the size, it just was beautiful. Come see, sweet boy. This is a great yard, though. Thank you. It's OK, sweet boy. You want to come see mama? You know, whatever Denver went through during Katrina obviously has traumatized him still to this day. Now, he's got the gentlest soul you ever want to meet in your life, right. but he's so timid, you're never really sure how he's going to react in right. a given situation. Right. From everything that Jamie and Jesse are telling me, he could really benefit from having a companion. So hopefully with a little bit more time, he can actually get comfortable around Billie Jean. We'll bring him out front, out of your yard. We'll get Billie Jean out, kind of reintroduce him again. That's fine. Before bringing them both into the yard, we want to walk our dog with their dog out in neutral territory and get them reacquainted. Yeah, she's a sweet girl. Look how pretty she is, baby. Yeah. Billie Jean has been through enough in her life. Any dog that managed to survive Hurricane Katrina in New Orleans, she's had enough. She needs some peace. It's the other dog, baby. Yeah. But I'm nervous that Denver's not going to behave. Let me take a walk this way, then. Mm -hmm. Hey, little girl. Come on. That's a good boy. Come here, little girl. I like the fact that she's not being so pushy. Just like the first meeting, Denver's reaction, to Billie Jean at least, is kind of indifferent. I don't know that we're going to get a true sense of his real reaction. Not here at all, so let's just go ahead and go in. Because he's so nervous, getting him into the backyard was the best chance we had for getting him comfortable. Hey, sweet girl. Right now, he's just glued to your side. He's using you as a security blanket, so again, we're not seeing what he's really like. Normally, I don't do this, but what happens when you let him loose off leash? Why don't we stop petting him? Just stop petting him and just let him be. Yeah, just let him be. Billy Jean was being actually very calm with Denver and just giving him a chance to get used to her, but Still not getting anything from Denver yet. I mean, he might just be frozen with fear if he won't do anything. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come on. Let's see if he'll wander away. Good boy. Hey, good boy, good buddy. Good boy. That's right. Go. Go. That's a good boy. Go. Come on. Look at you, big boy. He's not that nervous. Uh-uh. <laughs> He's happy. You know, to see a dog go over on his back and start rolling around and just loosening up, it just told me that he felt more relaxed. Say, come on, Billy Jean. I want to play. That's right. He's coming. Look at that. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. I mean, it took a while, but I think the ice has finally been broken a little bit by both dogs.